I'm home. Sherlock? Baby. Did they head over to Uriah's? No. Uriah's out with Lottie. Maybe they're napping again. Sherlock! Hey, there. What are you doing? It kind of looks like you're looking through my stuff. Which would be weird because we both agreed you wouldn't look through my work. And I can't read your security reports. You can try that again and not lie to me this time. Baby, I love you, but you don't have a cleaning bone in your body. I've never seen you willingly pick up a broom. Circling back to my original question, what were you doing there? You know that I can't have people just reading my stuff. People in that sense does include you as a fellow human being. The reporters in the movies don't have a boss who hounds them about news leaks, and your boss doesn't like security details being public knowledge. Which is why we agreed not to go snooping through each other's stuff. I'm not mad, I'm just very confused and a little disappointed that you're lying to me about this. When you moved in, I made it clear that this was a boundary of mine you couldn't cross for professional reasons. Now, can you stop avoiding the question? You're starting to worry me. Why are you looking into the rapers? You know it's dangerous enough for me to go chasing leads. You shouldn't be putting yourself out there like that. Zachary got attacked by one of them? Is he okay? What happened? Not today? What are you talking about then? They've been through here before? What do you mean? Their first sighting was in Washington. Did you... Do you know who one of the Reapers is? Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna take a second to process that. No, I, I just need that one second. I'll be fine in a bit. Are you sure? Like, you're sure that you're right? Do you, like, have a thing for dating people with homicidal tendencies? Asking me if I have those doesn't look good for you right now, baby. Well, yeah, I'm kind of worried about you because you just told me that you think one of the road trip reapers is your ex-husband. I have a million questions and my reporter brain wants to know more. However, I'm not going to do that now because I recognize this might have been difficult to even admit. Can I ask you one question though? What makes you think it was your... him? Uh, him? What makes you think it was him? Also, you were married before Uriah? Okay, yeah, those are two questions, but can you answer the first one?
I'm sorry. Back up. Zachary was his first target? So, is the way that the victims were grabbed similar to how Zachary was attacked? Jesus, poor kid. What made him do it? If it's hard to say, then you don't have to. I don't even think I can even imagine having that happen to me. Baby, I have to ask. What did you do that made him decide to go kill people? Shit. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, that was the wrong way of saying that. I'm sure you didn't do anything. I just wanted to know what he was thinking, and I worded that so wrong. I am sorry for saying it like that. Really. And I'm sorry that I haven't been noticing how all this might have been affecting you. Shit. I'm kind of a bad boyfriend. Alright, I'm not a bad boyfriend, but I do wish I noticed something was off earlier. All of this has been going on, and you've probably been feeling so much. And I've been chasing leads, and you've been... You've been here. Alone. Dealing with all of this. How have you been dealing with all of that? Do you want a hug? I kind of owe you one for all of that. Okay. Do you want to tell the police? Sherlock, it's your choice, but this could help bring whoever's responsible to justice for everything he's done. And for what he's done to you. I... I guess that does make sense. It's scary thinking that he might be able to come back for you if he figures out you are connected. But if we don't do something, then you'll definitely keep going after people. And soon enough, he's going to come back for you. It's the truth. When he realizes that there's nothing stopping him, then he'll finally get brave enough to get back at you. I will do everything I can to support you, but you should at least tell them so they can do something to catch him. Would you consider it then? That's all I'm asking from you with this. Just... Consider letting someone who can help know more about this case. Okay. I can work with a no. You don't have to explain your choice to me. I get why you wouldn't want to push this, and if you don't want to tell anyone, then I can't make you. You don't have to apologize for looking through my stuff. I get why you did it. Uh, 
okay, okay. I forgive you for snooping. Do you mind if I look into him? I just need his name. I can investigate him without involving you at all. I'll keep you safe and out of this as much as I can. I won't be going after him. I'll just be researching around him, and once I find enough evidence, I'll turn it to the police. Sherlock, he needs to be stopped, and I can respect your decision to not involve yourself, but my job is to expose shit like this so people can be safe. You have to get that I can't stand by and do nothing while people are going missing. Baby, please, let me do this. I want to help get rid of him if I can, especially if it keeps you safe. I just need a name, and I'll never bring him up to you again. Please, let me do this for you. Jericho Bouchard. Okay. Thank you. Of course, I can stay with you for a bit. For as long as you need. I love you. Is something up? You had that look on your face like you wanted to tell me something. Alright. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you.